Yeah, I'm out of breath, guys. We're a good old army girl back at you. This is my 357 Magnum Cattleman, a birdie, single action army. Put and got me this. <laughs> Thank you, love. It's right there with the Ruger. It's one of my faves. I don't have the box to tell you the ballistics directly, but I'm shooting the Federal Premium 357 158 grain jacketed flat point. It has out of a four inch barrel, it's probably going to have about 600 pounds of muzzle energy. About a hundred less than that 41 that I was shitting. 27 yards away. One day I'll show you some, some of my hand loads are a lot more violent than these. I'm going to see if I can hit it. I honestly don't have much practice with this revolver either. I thought it was so pretty, I just kind of bit it up. I'm a, I do most of my hunting with my Ruger, you see. The case hardening on this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. better recall on it too. <laughs> I don't know why this is factory federal loaded ammo but I got a jam. What the heck? Okay guys, so uh, got the cylinder out. This is what caused the jam. That drummer busted. I don't know if my firing pin come down too hard on it or if it was just the crappy primer. A quick note about the cattleman. In the single action army. You got a button right here that you have to press and you pull the cylinder pin out to drop your cylinder out. And in the black powder frame you got a screw that comes in right here. And that's how you get it out on the black the older frames, the old black powder frames. Well, I'm gonna shoot this last round, see if I can hit the thing. Just gonna do it standing up. Beautiful gun, crappy promers. Let's go see if I hit it. Oh yeah, I hit it pretty solid. The first two shots were kind of high though. And it hit it solid. It defeated it. Made a nice energy dump too. Not quite like the 41 hollow point. But still, Good inch, inch and a half. So I hit the board. It must definitely went through the board. Good board, clean through the.
going through the police. There you have it guys, I went through about four or five inches of wet books, half inch thick board, and another three inches of rolled up fleece. The 357, it's barely even considered a magnum nowadays compared to the big heavy magnums they got now. But it's still, in my opinion, the best. The original and the best. This is a Ringer Old Army Girl out. On a final note concerning the 357 and the 41 Magnum, I just want to let you guys know no matter what handgun I'm shooting, whether it be the, the Ruger Old Army or one of these guys. Before I go hunting, I do a lot of practice. And, excuse me. And I shoot my two hands. I owe it to the animal to be precise. It's not like shooting out here on the camera or shooting single-handed and shooting high. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Run girl and army girl out.